All right, let's do this thing. Hey y'all, Salt Coach Liz here, your go-to gal for all things salt. Today we are debunking some of the top menstrual cup myths. Myth number one, you can't use a menstrual cup if you're a virgin or if you've never used a tampon before. This is a total myth. Who are you gonna call? Myth busters. Actually, the good news is that if you've never used anything like a tampon or if you're a virgin, you can totally use a cup. The saltine cup is really good for people who are new to insertion and maybe if you've never used a tampon before or something like that. We recommend taking your time and listening to your body when you start out with the cup for the first time and water-based lubricant is your friend, so you should probably pick some up at the store. With time and practice, using your cup will become second nature. Myth number two. Using a menstrual cup eliminates your risk of getting toxic shock syndrome. Myth alert! The truth is, TSS is extremely rare, but you're at a risk of getting TSS regardless of what menstrual product you use. Whether you use a tampon, a cup, or a pad, the key is to take care of yourself and just make sure you're being safe. There are several factors that contribute to TSS occurring, but the key is to make sure that you're always handling your cup with clean hands and that you're sanitizing your cup between cycles. Check out the SALT blog to learn more. Right here. <laughs> Myth number three, menstrual cups are hard to use and they're messy. Girl, who told you that? Menstrual cups can come with a learning curve, but we recommend just taking your time, practicing, maybe trying in the shower, practicing on the weekends, and then you'll be good to go. Myth number four, you have to replace your menstrual cup yearly. Please. This may just be a marketing ploy, but the cool thing is that the salt cup can last for up to 10 years. It's made of medical grade silicone, and with proper use and care, you can use your cup for as long as you have your passport. That's a savings of nearly $1,500 and diverts an average of 3,000 disposable products from oceans and landfills over the course of 10 years. Myth number five, your menstrual cup can get lost inside your vagina. I really want like an actual megaphone that's like, that is a myth. The vaginal canal can seem like a bit of a mystery. We can't really see what's up there, so how do we know we'll be able to get our cup out? Well, the vaginal canal is not an endless tube, and it actually has an endpoint. This means that your cup cannot get lost inside your body. Phew! Well, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in! What other period myths have you heard about? We're gonna bust them. <laughs> Put them in the comments. We're gonna bust them.